Nice. <laughs> 31 KO2. Okay, so today, if you haven't figured it out, we're going the opposite way to what we went last time, sort of, with a little bit extra added in. I want to get up this hill, no mucking around, so I'm just going to... I don't want to end up in that washout on the left there. So a little bit of momentum. Sometimes this is the right time to use a bit of momentum. Sometimes momentum isn't your friend. And we might change it up and go up another track. Actually, we'll just see how we go. Because um, I've been up and down this one a couple of times in the last year. And um, it's pretty straightforward now. So there's another track off to the side up here, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's dead end or not, but it's another red track, so I don't know what's up there. Um, but So let's go find out, eh? People have been driving around that side of that. I don't know why. This isn't that bad. I need to drive around there. Oh, I know why. To get the angle right to go. A radio. Now, this is on the right. This is the split. Hey, there's the signpost in the middle of the road. Pinnacle. There's a pinnacle. Right, so we came from up here on the right last time. And this time we might go for a look up here on the left. Um, just not 100% sure. I think it does come around, actually. Let's check it out. Right, so if I've got it right, it's Pinnacle Track on the left, Mansfield Track on the right. So we're going to go to the left and see how we go for a bit. Uh, we've got a split here. The left side looks definitely not drivable, and the right side looks like a struggle. So we'll give the struggle a go a little bit and see what happens. A locky yet, although we probably will need it. We'll probably belly out and drag a lot. We'll just see how we go. It's always good to have a go and see how you go. Because you might be surprised where a standard high up here. Well, up here is not good because it's got a big washout too. Well, we don't know how that's going to end up either. Can't see. Okay, can we go on the right and stay out of it? Not enough room to stay out of it, so. At your window, Mitch. We got any big holes there? I don't can't see. Put your window down. Stick your head out there and have a look. Is that a big deep wash? There's yet? a hole right there. Yeah, but we're going forward. So looking forward, look under the mirror. Is there any big holes there, or is it? No. Just a normal really. washout, like what yeah. we're looking at up there. Yeah. That's right. We'll go into it then, and we'll hope that that was the right move because we're being lazy, not getting out of the car, going to have a look. We're driving. All right. You can put your window up now if you want. It's up to you. Go the sunnies, grab those for me. The distraction. Ah, oh, that's all right. That worked out all right as well. So we'll just let Mark know. Yeah, that was pretty drivable. Didn't even use the front locker. Once we got to, through that uh, steep section, just went to the left a little bit, straddled the washout, hug it to the left as you go around the bend, keeping your left tire up, and then it flattens out again. Piece of cake. Look like some heavy duty side steps. Side steps, they copper panning, but they go all right. Could be time for that uh, plastic bumper bar to get ripped off. Bring it up like that, we'll see what happens. So maybe this is a bit of a problem with standard bar. Whoa! The bar's about to touch. And you've got a few inches to go forward before it starts lifting, so not good. So this isn't really a good option for this car. Jump out and have a look. Put the handbrake, put it in park. Okay, so in the in my highlights with the bull bar, I went over the top of that rock just to keep the vehicle sort of level. Worked well. But with this one, it hasn't got the approach angle. And neither did the bull bar much on this stuff. As long as it looks like nothing, the bull bar hit that as well. And you can't... So you've got limited options. So what we're going to do is try and sneak past on this side here. We'll see what the angle's like. If it's too much angle, we might get the shovel out and put some of this over there, whatever. If it feels like too much angle, then, you know, pull the pin before you get next to the rock. Because it might slide that way a bit too. 
we don't want to get into a situation where, because you're on a lot of sand at the bottom. What's the angle like? How are you feeling? Yeah, 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 that's it, true. The Norweld got a little clip already at the back corner there. So Norweld need to just take a little bit off the back of the lower at the rear mud flap. Yeah, you're gonna clear, I'm pushing on it. Oh, toolbox, toolbox. It's touching the toolbox now. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe if I put the camera in, I'll push a bit harder. It's a bit of track building here. Yeah, left hand down now, keep it straight. It's gonna lift up nicely if, it's, if it doesn't pack too much. Yep, no problem. Yep, yep. Go that way a little bit. Like you got your lockers on here. Go that way a little bit, keep it like that for now. Your left front's probably in the air. Wait there, I'll go get it, go and have a look at it and get a photo. <laughs> here we go. Thumbnail for the uh, video maybe. Couple of photos anyway. Right, you're right up on the top of it, so just do your thing. Do your magic nice and slow. A little bit that way, just keep it straight. Slow, you're about to drop down off this rock. pretty much down just stay that way a bit and then try and shoot up this way in between these two I'll tell you when I would turn go straight now straighten up back this way that's it bit, bit early on the turn no 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 I don't like it because you, you're right up on the route I would have liked to turn a little bit later. Yeah, there's that bit you're up on it and you're going to go to some lower ground here before you get higher again. So just back it up without turning. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Straighten up now. Keep going back a little bit more. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Straighten up a lot then. That's it. Now, now straight ahead forward. Well, you're probably going to start turning now. Yep. Just we've got to watch this rock here on the bar. So come slow. I think you'll be right. You missed it by an inch. Straighten it up a bit now. Straight ahead. That's it. Pick your line. Do your thing. Probably bring it down a bit now. Bring it turn this way. Yep, yep. Because you've got a rock up there. Turn this way. That's it. Slow, slow. Keep it slow. That's it, beautiful. Got a bit more to go here yet too. Just straighten up. Just come straight up, nice and slow. I think you'll clear the bar there on that. Climb up, no problem. That's it. I just like to keep the camera rolling. Left editing, so you know what's going on real time. It's all happening real. Bit of a long one. Maybe you'll call it, this is a Christmas Eve special, eh? Put it out on Christmas Eve, the whole footage. Straighten it up now. Stop there. You're about that far from your bar, just so you can judge it where the tree is. So you're gonna need it to go that way a little bit. Straight now, dead straight. Turn this way, turn this way. Straight towards me. Drive towards me, yep. Yeah. Don't even turn, little bit that way. That's it, just like that, nice and slow. You can start turning this way a little bit. All right, turn it a bit more now. Just go slow, we'll watch that Norweld at the back. 
I think the back's going to skip around. No, you can turn now because the back went around. All right, just drive it up, mate. Whatever now, it's just a rock. Beautiful. A couple of more difficult sections, but a bit of spotting. Beautiful. That's why you don't want 10 cars. Two cars is actually good. <laughs> 